Hey, what's up? It's Schnell, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Video Vlog. Alright, blasting some tangerine dream for reasons you'll find out in a second because I just watched the Blood Incantation All Gates Open movie. Blu ray. Not even joking, my first time ever watching a Blu ray. And it was incredible seeing how much went into Absolute Everywhere. And I love how the logo is like. 3D. Like, if you look at the other CDs that come with the CD book, they all kind of have regular logos. Where the Blu ray, very, it's like, I don't know, spacey and sick. I know you can't really tell there, but trust me, there's a cool, like, 3D looking logo. But, oh my goodness. So good. Uh, I couldn't get the Dobe, the Dobe at most mixed to work because I guess I just don't have that set up like I said but the all gates open in search of absolute everywhere documentary I was lucky enough to get a few little heads up about this release around August and got to see the layout and stuff but um just like reading, I, I read everything already in the book, but I'm going to go over the book separately. I want to go over the documentary slash film because, like again, I, I knew that they really worked their asses off here, but wow, like I, I had no idea it was like a week before going into the studio you know that they hit um the message like playing all the way through playing the record front to back it's gnarly everything about this record if you care about the making of art and music, especially bands you give a shit about, for three CDs and a Blu-ray that explain one of the best modern records. If you could still get your arm, your hands on this, do it. And like the fact that they. <laughs> For the sake of nerd, of gear nerd, oh my goodness. So, they have what the studio, band producers, and a sister, oh, I can't see, this is, like, those guys in the record store looking at records, I'm looking at, I look at some of that equipment, and I'm like, I wish money just grew on trees. But really, like, wow. Very, very awesome documentary. Like, just, like, going from noisy rooms to the main studio, it's, it's legit, like, an awesome journey. All a hundred, I think it's a hundred and four minutes total. 
It might be a little bit longer. I, I forget off the top of my head. I'm looking right now. 114 minutes. It is great. The Blu-ray was kind of... It took me a little bit to get it to play, though. But it, as soon as I got it to work, it was fine. Like, the Blu-ray player wasn't reading it for some reason, but... I've never used a Blu-ray player before, so that's probably why, because I, I figured it out and I got it to work. The play button wasn't working, but when I pressed enter, it was good. But, yeah. Like, considering how insane Absolute Everywhere is as an album, and just seeing that whiteboard that author has at one point, it's just like, it gave me anxiety. But like, I, I know the record's done. I know it sounds amazing. But like, I was legit like, I, I don't know, I, I was just blown away, honestly. Especially for my first ever Blu-ray. Amazing stuff. I would love the opportunity to even travel to Germany, let alone record a record in a, a legendary studio. Just nothing but love to Blood Incantation and all gates open and search absolute everywhere. I was kind of expecting the usual making of, but not really. I was kind of, you know, it's blood incantation. They're not going to do the usual, like, I don't even listen to, you know, blah, blah, blah. I listen to country music. It's like, what? What'd you say, Jack Owen? Yeah. You know what I'm talking about, too. I think it's like listening to like Garth Brooks, even. It's like, come on, if you're gonna listen to country music, <laughs> at, at least, like, I don't know. But this is one of those things, uh... I just always... I, I don't know, after a while, back in the mid-2000s, it just kind of got to the point where a lot of bands were just kind of throwing together like just some bullshit 15 minute video of them drinking, smoking pot, and like using Pro Tools. Like, and at the time, pre YouTube. Sometimes, like, I remember getting King Diamond Puppet Master Special Edition, and the DVD was just King Diamond telling the concept story behind the album. Like, I wanted live King Diamond footage, and I'm just like, what the fuck is it? But, again, it was better than nothing. Like, it was King Diamond footage, and at the time, like... I think I had a bootleg VHS of like a live Merciful Fate show from like 90s Merciful Fate and it got eaten by my VCR. I forgot like uh, the one side of this has a weird like tape like and you can hear the reel like going but these things happen when your cassettes from 1973. <laughs> so, calm down. I still haven't figured out what this 12 means. I didn't really look too much into it. But the 15 is like the Euro, I guess the German uh, parental advisory, like 15 and up. Uh, it says like language, but I guess that's on the Blu ray. Like, they do like smoke some trees and. I guess, I think they say fuck 
like twice, a couple times, like just being like, when they're going record shopping, okay, just, I, I know now never to go record shopping with Paul. <laughs> He's like, you know you need that, right? <laughs> to get an eight hundred dollar picture disc, like sick as fuck. And I know exactly what he means too. Like, I was like watching it like holy shit. It's like I'm looking at that pile too and I'm like, I wonder what's all in there. But it's just a really good documentary. Like, if you like Blood Incantation, it's pretty fucking essential. Check it out. On the Absolute Everywhere box set. It's the Blu-ray that is all gates open and search of Absolute Everywhere. Hopefully no assholes upload that to YouTube. If you do, you're a fucking dickhead. Don't do that shit. They really worked their asses off. So, don't be a dick. And we were blasting some Tangerine Dream. I was just in the mood after watching the documentary. But, uh, I'm gonna put some integrity on the tape deck. Because all the risk. Risk remastered this bad boy, produced it. Well, I think he just did the production. Hold on one second. Oh, god damn it. I should have grabbed the LP version, but it doesn't matter. It's fucking integrity. Humanity is the devil. You, you know it. I hope you know it. And yes, I'm going from tangerine dream to integrity. But that's for myself. Again, if you were lucky enough to score one of these, uh, I'm sh again, I think Evil Greed is not sold out yet. But the All Gates Open and Search Absolute Everywhere, I'm sure eventually they'll post it on online, but don't be an asshole. And don't rip it onto YouTube. Okay? Seriously, don't. They really busted their ass. And it's fucking good, too. Like, again, it, it kept my attention the entire time. And the soundtrack is a bonus CD on here. It's a All Gates Open original motion picture soundtrack. It's four tracks. So, yeah. Awesome shit. Definitely worth the money here. And a great documentary. So, check out All Gates Open. Great documentary. And obviously, check out Absolute Everywhere by Blood Incantation. Thanks for watching. And as always, you fucking rule infernal hails and gratitude. Thank you, Paul, for legit talking me into a CD box set purchase because you were on the money brother for real you were on the money that this was something i would like like we went to the mall and i got to listen to it in the car like the album in the car holy shit but it sounds so goddamn good on vinyl like thank you just again enjoy peace watch the documentary do not fucking rip it seriously i know like if you live in the philly area and have like a fancy uh like blu-ray surround sound set up hit me up i'll bring this over because uh i want to watch it on surround sound and i want to see what this if you have this uh atmos Adobe, seriously, let me know. Like, if you live in the Philadelphia area, I would love to watch this. Or, I mean, or I would love to listen to the record.
with the surround mix and the last time not even joking aside from going to the movie theaters i think the last time i saw a personal movie and surround sound was at a friend's house when jurassic park came out and they had a big screen tv and surround sound speakers and i just remember it being like crazy but i you know it's jurassic park what's that like 90 i was a little kid so be awesome to hear you know one of my favorite bands killing it on surround sounds i remember when that t-rex like that t-rex scene like i'll never forget that audio because it was just like so sick sounding but thanks again for watching you fucking rule infernal hails of gratitude check out the documentary and enjoy it peace <laughs> Bye.